In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. Control, this is Sky Ranger 1, requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number 3. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Just admit it, you're impressed. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. You were never meant to. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. At least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Now don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. That weaver is one tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Uh, do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. And I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. An attack like this, it's gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know. Ain't that the truth. Where were you this morning? Did you get caught in... in any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found out about an alien attack? You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA, but my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Anomalies? What type? Different types, but all, well, supernatural. Sounded silly to say it until a few hours ago. Mostly weather oddities, but also we've been recovering deposits of this Illyrium stuff. Who else is on this team? It was supposed to be kept small until it was needed. Now, people who were pre-flagged for recruitment are coming in. Well... The ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? From where? From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. As of this morning, Falk activated the project and sent that call out. And before today? For the last few years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. 
But now, we got a lot of new squaddies to bring up to speed. I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Sounds like the director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good seats. Lights. We are at war, and not the one we were expecting. Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, strategic command itself ceased to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. That mission remains the same, even if our enemy does not. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has crippled us. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive. Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. can help them. Let me help them! Will. 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 Carter. Hey, Will, wake up. What? Jesus, Carter. How is it you look worse than before you went to sleep? I'm fine. And you yelling for me to wake up doesn't help. <laughs> I wasn't the one yelling. What did I say? Something about a fire. I don't know. I guess after the morning you had, it makes sense. No, this wasn't about that. It wasn't about Groom Range. Well, my guess is you're not the only one having nightmares after this morning. Head shrinking's gonna be a big business after this war. If there isn't after this war. Ugh, Christ, that was dark. Anyway, Falk's looking for you. Wants you in his office, ASAP. The old man say what he wanted with me? <laughs> Guess you don't know him all that well yet. The director doesn't tell anyone anything he doesn't think they need to know. Well, I guess you can't really hold knocking off for a few against me, seeing as how we seem to be in our office and our quarters. Yeah, I guess some parts of the emergency plan leave something to be desired. Ah well, it'll be just like college, right? Yeah, except I stayed in Mrs. Hawthorne's boarding house back in Terre Haute. Had my own bathroom and everything. Well, ain't you fancy? Are you saying something about that radio? Oh, yeah. Cheap thing normally just pipes in the company elevator music. But it's been picking up some weird signal. Damned if I know what it is. Don't we have more important issues to deal with? Uh, sure, that's why I haven't bothered with it. But if someone on the outside is able to broadcast through that jamming signal, well, it could be important. Who would know more about this? Check with Operator Chelsky. She's information officer for the Bureau. Keeps track of communications, arranges contacts, manages what the public hears. The whole deal. I'd better go see what the old man wants. See you later, Will. Two. Message repeats. Two. Five. Zero. Better make a note November. of this and talk to one of the Eight. radio operators. Nine. You probably ought Two. to run that by Operator Chelsky across Message the hall. Repeats. Might be important. Two. Five zero November. 
You the dispatcher? A little more than that, Agent Carter. I'm Chief Information Officer with the Bureau. Information Officer? What does that mean? I oversee the dispatchers, but in addition to that, I also manage our public communications and keep our profile low. But for now, my job is also keeping the public from knowing the scope of the threat. Because rioting mobs of civilians are the last thing we need right now. Exactly. You and your agents contain the enemy's attacks, and my operators will keep the public panic level in check. I'll try not to distract you too much. As long as you have a good reason. What do you need, sir? Isn't the enemy jamming all communications? Yes. Most broadcasting equipment is facing heavy interference, cutting effective range down to less than 5% of normal. Then how are you... Our equipment is significantly more robust. We're still communicating at approximately 90% of effective range. The best of the best, you know. What does the population know? They're worried about the communications blackout, but our operatives in the major cities are keeping them in line. Keeping them in line? You make it sound like they've declared martial law. Nothing as heavy-handed as that. Just a series of emergency preparedness tests. They'll be tense, but orderly. The radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. It's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. First set the range to... Set the range to 250. Now the direction? Set the direction east. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 155 kilohertz. Checking low frequency. I've taken enough of your time. Yes, sir. You were there. You saw what he was capable of. I did. It's just... His file paints a different picture. Speak of the devil. Carter. Good. Agent Weaver is afraid you don't play well with others. I tend to see that as an asset. What do you want from me, sir? You're not here in this facility by chance. I brought you here quite purposefully. I've been following your career for some time. You brought me here? I seem to remember it was me who saved your ass when hell broke loose. You may have arranged the ride, but... And I would have expected nothing less from you. I appreciate what you did back there, but I also expected it of you. I knew you had it in you. You understand that? Yeah, I think I see where you're coming from. You see some magic spark in me that the rest of the brass can't see. No, not the brass. It's you who refuses to see it. Ever since the loss you suffered. And I'm sorry for that loss, Carter, but I don't think you're meant to sit it out on the sidelines. I think it's time you got another shot at being the agent you were meant to be. You have been doing your homework. What do you do, just watch people for a living? You are right about one thing, though. I'm not gonna sit back while this country gets ripped apart by these freaks. That's what I wanted to hear. What do we know about the enemy? Very little. Before this morning, we only knew of scattered oddities. We weren't even sure if they were connected. Such as? Deposits of the substance called Illyrium were found in various locations across the nation. There were weather oddities. We received and investigated reports of what we called thinnings. Localized instances where the very fabric of reality itself seemed to be warping, then dissolving. And this was kept secret? From whom? The populace? The news would have generated mass panic. No, the circle was kept quite small on this. What is this place? I mean, when aliens from another world aren't attacking our planet. This facility is essentially fulfilling its intended function right now. It was created to respond to a potential invasion on domestic soil. Do all of these people work here? No. Typically, you won't find much more than a skeleton crew here. But... Certain carefully selected individuals, across all military disciplines, are aware of this facility's existence. In the case of a domestic invasion, they're under orders to arrive here. I never knew about this place. Well, based on your performance at Groom Range, I'd say that omission was a grievous oversight. What's our plan? Our first order of business is to get this facility running at full capacity. 
I believe our best shot at defeating an enemy with superior technology is to take that technology from them and make it our own. And we got the facilities to do that? We're still finishing construction on the lab, but we've already got one of the best leading the team, Dr. Dresner. And he won't be doing it alone. I'm in the midst of organizing field teams to be sent on recon and recruitment missions for other specialists. I'm heading down to the ready room. De Silva will meet you there and help you assemble a team. Get moving. Welcome aboard, sir. What do they look like? I heard some of them look like us. No way. I've seen them. They look like some kind of... I don't know, some kind of monsters or something. How's it going, Agent Carter? Yes, Director. I'll tell him right away. The old man just called down. Says one of the scientists is missing. Disappeared, along with his research and high explosives. Does Falk think he's gone rogue? Maybe. But we can't risk a panic. Nils is tracking him down, but you need to get a team ready to help. Quick and quiet. This is a list of available agents. Falk has gathered everyone he could find from all the agencies. All of them specialists, all of them the best at what they do. the infiltrator to the morgue. There's no way out of there. Wait for me, Nils. I'll get your back. I'll wait as long as I can, but we can't risk leaving him with those explosives. I'm on my way. Carter, head through the armory and take a left for the elevator. I'll send your team up to join you. Damn it, Nils. Hold on. Agent Nils is inside. He ordered us all out here. I'll handle this. Nils. Do not grieve. He died well. Why? Why kill Nils? Why attack our world? You do not understand. This world is no longer yours. But you will learn. Mosaic will teach you. What the hell is Mosaic? Mosaic is the truth that humanity shall come to know. It is unfortunate that you will not be here to witness it. Yeah, well, I know one truth that you don't. And what is that? You're surrounded. Ah! 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 
Engaging fire! Hit it hard! Taking the shot! All targets down. Cease fire, fellas. He's worth more to us alive. Let's get him into custody. I got the infiltrator, Falk. Alive. Good work. You and Agent Nils, report to. Nils is dead. I told him to wait for backup, but he went in without me. Understood. Meet me in ops. We've got work to do. Just a moment, please. If you will spare a moment, I am Dr. Heinrich Dresner, and I have been expecting you. That's nice, Doc, but I got a report to... I assure you, Herr Volk will be glad that we spoke. After all, we shall need new weapons to fight this war, and my laboratory shall be where they are created. Any weapons you retrieve from the field, we will be glad to study and convert for your use. You know much about these outsiders and their technology? I have been working with Herr Folk for nearly as long as he has suspected their existence. And since the attack, I have had so much more material to study. Try not to sound so cheerful, Doc. We lost a lot of good men that day. And we just lost another. I am sorry, William. But I hope to prevent more losses just as you do. In fact, I came here to give you this. Our first discovery. Sure, but... What is it? The Vendrace was designed for close-range attacks to augment your fisticuffs. Against a wounded target, its effects can be devastating. But more importantly, it can be modified to allow the capture and use of the outsider weaponry. This could have come in useful a few minutes ago. Ah, but you cannot simply take their weapons. First, you must find one that has not yet been imprinted to the enemies. Every minute we waste could mean another life. My apologies, William. Just take the brace, and I will let you know when it can help us. Thanks, Doc. And maybe our new research subject can help with your next breakthrough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go speak with the director. Thank you, William. Come back anytime. Agent Carter, your report. The bastard got Nils. This cannot happen again, Falk. Killing Nils? Christ, we're lucky that's all he managed to do. Agent Nils' loss will be felt throughout the organization. But right now, we have bigger problems. His loss? God damn it, we need to stop these bastards. And we need to do it now. Do you understand that? Calm yourself, Agent. We all agree they have to be stopped. I believe that our best hope for doing so is to recover Dr. Alan Weir from Rosemont University. No, what we need to do is put a stop to the enemy. Agreed. And we can do both. There's been another attack. The target is Rosemont University. A civilian target? Why? Because Dr. Weir's research can tell us what the enemy wants, how they think, and how to stop them. We need him on the team if we want to survive. And you know better than anyone that surviving is the first step to striking back. All right. Let's go get him. Good man. When you're ready, bring up the tactical map on that terminal and your team will be dispatched. Make sure you've got everything in order around the base. Team selected, weapons set, no outstanding business. You never know how long you'll be out on a mission. Or if you'll come back. I'm... They're hitting us from all sides. We've yet to discern a pattern driving the invasion. 
but we have managed to assign mission priorities. As potential missions and reports come in, they'll be posted here, and I'll trust you to select which is the most pressing.